Will there be a .NET MAUI toolkit? Let's find out in this episode of Quick Question. If you've been following me or other people in like the Xamarin kind of ecosystem, then you've probably already seen the blog post by Brandon Minnick, my good friend Brandon Minnick, who has written everything down that's going to happen with like the Xamarin Community Toolkit because the Xamarin Community Toolkit is there. Um, I kind of spearheaded that with some members from the community, um, um, Javier from the actual Xamarin Forms team. So we've done a lot of great work um, there, there's a couple of videos on this channel about how to use the Xamarin Community Toolkit. So go check that out if you haven't done that already. But what I didn't really realize whenever I signed on is that a lot of people would come to love the Xamarin Community Toolkit. And uh, together with that, people would become dependent on that toolkit. So now, whenever you have this Xamarin Forms application and you want to go to a .NET MAUI application, we have to have a toolkit, right? Because else we are blocking you from porting your application to Don and Maui. And that's something I don't want to have hanging over me because, you know, I can't sleep because of the, those things. Um, and that is kind of like, you know, when you would ask me a little bit like um, a little bit earlier, like, hey, what is going to happen when Don and Maui comes? Will there be a Don and Maui toolkit? I was going to say, I don't know. We'll see about that then. Uh, but that was not a great answer. I realize that now because I didn't have that realization. So now we wrote it all down in the blog post and what it's coming down to is basically three things. So, well, three things, we're gonna have three toolkits. What? Um, so one, uh, we're gonna have the Xamarin Community Toolkit as it is today. At some point, uh, at least at the time of recording, pretty soon, we're gonna stop adding new features to that. And we're gonna kind of, like Xamarin Forms, we're gonna go into a maintenance mode. So we'll release bug fixes, stability fixes, but no big new features. Kind of like following the same path, actually following the exact same path, path as Xamarin Forms, um, because we're gonna support it also up to November 2022, um, and then the support for Xamarin Community Toolkit stops as well. Then the second one, second one, second one is going to be um, a, a kind of compat version. So if you have looked at .NET MAUI applications, you can enable kind of some compat version where you can still use all your Xamarin Forms renderers and, um, you know, it will be able to mimic kind of like the Xamarin Forms stuff, which will allow you to transition a little bit more easier from your Xamarin Forms application to your .NET MAUI application. That's also what we're gonna do with that package. We're gonna, you know, um, um, still use the renderers, but we're gonna use them in the compatibility mode. So that still requires us to change a couple of namespaces, but there will be a NuGet package that you can use in that scenario. But three, three is the most exciting one because we are going to work together, our team of the Xamarin Xamarin Community Toolkit is going to work together with the Windows Community Toolkit. The Windows Community Toolkit has been around for a long, long time, um, and they're kind of like following the same path as the Xamarin Community Toolkit, working with the community, adding all kinds of controls, even an MVVM framework and whatnot. Um, and you know, if you have worked with Windows UWP, um, then you know they are working with XAML as well. So they also have the converters, they also have MVVM, they also have all these things. So it makes sense, right, to work together to share share that code, hopefully, you know, bring some of their controls to .NET MAUI, bring some of the .NET MAUI things to Windows, and suddenly we have this big, brilliant toolkit that everyone can benefit from. That's going to be pretty exciting. We'll have unified docs, unified repos. It will be totally awesome. So, you know, it will be it will be great. Um, and we are going to rebrand that a little bit to be community toolkit dot. And then we can, after the dot, it will be a wildcard. So it can be Windows, it can be Maui. Um, you know, in the future, who knows? It can be Blazor, it can be anything. We're starting with Windows and Maui. Um, so that's going to be, that's going to be like the .NET native kind of toolkit that we're going to have. Um, so that is where it's going with the Maui toolkit. And if you want to know everything um, in the letter of the detail, just go over to this blog post or find it down below in the video description um, in a handy clickable form and you will go there and you can read all about it. And now you know what is happening with the Xamarin or .NET Maui community toolkit.